Ashwin Lovers, thanks for joining us here in this session of Scoop School. Always a pleasure to spend a little bit of time with you daily, well pretty well daily. If you'd like to get a little ding-a-ling when uh, we post a video, you can actually hit the bell down here somewhere and it will actually advise you. But you've got to subscribe too. While you're there, you might as well like this video. You haven't even seen it yet, I don't know why. Maybe wait till the end to do all of that. Anyway, I do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is the Ice Cream Club. I tell you, if there was any club that I'd want to join, the Ice Cream Club would be one of them. Uh, Rich and Heather Draper, based down in Boynton Beach, Florida, they make quality ice cream. Let me tell you about Rich and Heather Draper. They're not just making ice cream. They're involved in the National Ice Cream Retailers Association. They're in the International Dairy Foods Association, Safe Ice Cream Association. They're really very knowledgeable on the process of safe, beautifully well-crafted ice cream that you can sell in your shop, theicecreamclub.com. The link is down below. When you're talking to Rich and Heather, you tell them that I said hello. Now is the time. I know everybody's in the throw of a very busy season, but we're gonna start winding down pretty soon. And now is the time that you're gonna to wanna to start thinking about what you're going to do for the crossover season, the winter season. If you are lucky enough to have a business where you close up for the winter season and you go bye-byes, that's wonderful. But many of us kind of struggle through the winter to try and make ends meet. And you really should have a winter menu. And we've done a couple of these videos, long form videos. But I just want to put a bug in your ear right now as to, hey, really you should be spending some time talking to vendors about what are some of the things on the market that I can use to complement my ice cream products during the winter months. This is an example of uh, in our um, original stores in Australia, and we also did them in our stores here in St. Louis, um, a winter waffle and hot chocolate menu, or just a winter menu. It didn't take anything away from our core menu, and I talk about this all the time. Your core menu should be the bulk or the foundation of your menu, your, your offerings, uh, but you should be able to kind of add or supplement those menus with weekly specials, with flavors of the week, with seasonal stuff, limited time offers, and your winter uh, menu should be one of them. We just did a pretty simple uh, menu. We did a fresh Belgian waffle sundae, and we also did a hot chocolate float or a hot cocoa float. We got our Belgian waffle maker from Cobatco, but you could get yours from really any manufacturer. Uh, and we actually, uh, our Cisco US Foods Broadline distributor actually came to us and said, hey, we actually give you the hot chocolate machine if you buy the hot chocolate powder. Up to you as to how you wanna do that. But we found that any hot chocolate base always tasted better with a scoop of vanilla ice cream in the top. So that simply was our menu. I think we had one other molten lava sundae, which was basically a brownie or a kind of mud cake that we used to pump hot fudge into and then put the ice cream on top. So it kind of looked like it was a molten lava thing. But that juxtaposition, and you know I love saying that word, juxtaposition, juxtaposition, juxtaposition of hot and cold, really does make a great menu item for the winter months. So, um, a little bit of a bug in your ear, start thinking now, talk to your suppliers now about what are the things that I can sell in the winter time in order to kind of drive those sales. You don't need to necessarily take anything off the current menu, but you do want to add maybe for a month or two uh, or three, some of these items that are easy to make, that get people coming in and they keep loyalty. They keep that loyalty to your brand, which is the most important. Look, that's all we have time for. If you have some great winter menu items that you've sold in your shop or you're considering, leave them in the comments down below. We love reading about them. And also we've got a lot of our viewers that read them as well. A lot of interaction in those comments, which is great. Again, thank you to uh, the Ice Cream Club for their episode sponsorship. If you have a question, concern, or problem about the ice cream business, might not be recipe related, might be operationally, might be hiring, drop us a line. Best way to do it, leave a comment down below. Smash like now, subscribe, keep on scooping. We'll see you in the next video.